Who got the roni? Who got the tenderoni? Who got the roni? Who got the tenderoni? Hey, man. Y'all remember this, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, you know, I dropped it in the vid. I forgot which vid it was. You know what I mean? But I said, all right, let's, uh, <laughs> man, love to uh, the dust sage. There might be some dates to pay attention to. We'll see. And, you know, we don't know. But did you know that there's a saint named Corona? Coroni? You know, and at that time, this is all we had. Um, then uh, shout out to the fam. Oh, man. Man, so, so, man, Drop Nation, man, y'all thick, man. Y'all be dropping all kind of drop, man. And I, I don't really know who drop everything at all times. But shout out to the fan that dropped <laughs> the vid that we about to feature. A hop to you. Uh, I believe it was on IG. I just had it up on my tabs, man, and finally got to it. And let's just watch it with a dragonfly perspective. But first, remember, man, the question. Is there a saint named Corona? Now, it says she is the saint of plagues and infectious diseases. She is also to be worshipped from March until May. Her feast is May 14th, and that is when the Pope has global educational alliance meeting with world leaders on how to re-educate the youth. Wait a minute. And we're going through all this situation with this trafficking and this melanin organ situations and, and adrenochrome situations and all that. I mean, everybody bringing it out. Everybody bringing it out. The world's on a standstill. What's really popping? Is there some global court case, you know, rounding up? All the pedophilia, all that bullshit. I mean, is that what's popping? You know, is it just a pump fake? Is it just a magic spell? Is this a magic spell that they do, you know, every such and such to honor the tenderoni, <laughs> St. Corona? Now, it so says she's worshipped from March till May. I think we in April, right? All right. Her feast is May 14th. That is when the Pope has a global educational alliance meeting with world leaders on how to re-educate the youth of the entire world or brainwash the youth or hijack the youth. Let's go. Watch for it because they're meeting on how to hijack the youth. And then by the time you get to December, you know, they got you in Christmas. They say, gotcha, bitch. We didn't hijack the youth. Got him worshiping all our foreign en energies and entities. We done plan with with do meditation like the Papa Bull 1452 on how to re-educate, right? And it's always about our youngsters, man. All right, so watch for it May 14th. So I don't know about these dates, but if it checks out, man, <laughs> then you got to, you know, be on a swivel, you know, enough to see it coming. This ain't no fear spell for us, even though that is the spell that they are casting. It's all about the fear frequency. And we are in redemption. This is our harvest. We getting our land back. We wakey wakey. We activate it. Oh, they want to the gamma radiate us. We activate. We go up like elevators. See you later. Sayonara. Catch the next star. <laughs> hey, man, it's out of here. We out of here, man. That's all I got to say, man. Catch the next dragon, man. We out of here, man. So they make plans. May 14th, all right? This is the feast. This is the Feast of the Roni. Now, also May 14th, 1948, is happens to be the day when the state of Israel became a nation. I'm going to say it one more time. If you think your land is over there in the state of Israel that was set up in 1948, then you are now agreeing 100 with your oppressors. When they switched it up, did the switcher rule, you are now saying, yep, y'all's right, boss. You's right, boss. I better I better get my passport and go to Israel. The state of Israel, that is. You right, boss. You right, master. This is the state of Israel, ain't it, boss? That's the frequency you in. We already home and we know where Israel really is now. There's a feast, right? Popping off around this tenderoni. And there's another jabroni along with this tenderoni. They call him Saint Victor. 
It's incredible, but it seems it's seemingly true. There is a Saint Corona and she is one of the patrons of pandemics, according to the website of Roman Catholic Diocese of Lainton, Michigan. Even more incredible, the diocese claims that the remains of the second century Saint are in Northern Italy. We're going to get some of this 5G situation. I mean, it's all happening. You got her body in Italy. <laughs> you got the Roni breaking out in Italy. You got you this uh, 5G super situation popping off in Italy. What else we got, man? Let's put it all together. The epicenter of the recent outbreak of the coronavirus in Europe. All right, all right. So again, man, you know, what's up with this tenderoni, though, man? Oh, oh, wow, oh, wow. What's up with this tenderoni, man? Hey, man, hope y'all getting the drop on IG. Hope you over here surfing the wave. And yeah, man, they have a bat, right? On the 2020 quarter. And this ain't a play play. Everybody checked it out. You know what I'm saying? Everybody. They said they taunting us. Said they telling on themselves. I mean, everybody leaving great comments. So this is showing everyone that it is that it's rebirth going death and rebirth transformation ending of the old ways and it's the beginning of a new so we can't we keep hearing about this new order of things right chaos out of order order out of chaos then hawa got his new order popping off too so we got all these new beginnings happening at one time that's why you feel like you're going crazy you got to settle down you don't have to surf the wave just take a breath fall back so they put a bat on the quarter right they got this bat virus popping off in the same damn year What's going to happen in 2021, though? What's going to happen in 2021, though? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, let's go, let's go. So we're going to get a piece of this and get love to Drop Nation. Somebody D DM me this, and you know who you are. I appreciate you for dropping this on me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Drop Nation's always here. So um, it was dropped a couple weeks ago or so, May or March 20th, so not that long ago. Let's just look at what he's saying with a dragonfly perspective. And we're going to bring in all the drag and drop, man, the Comet Atlas, the 5G. Yeah, I mean, we already touched on this Atlas coming in, connecting it with Revelations 9, with this Wormwood, with this Abaddon, Apollyon situation, which is Thoth, that has all the Christians hijacked, thinking he's Zeus, he's Zeus, or Yahweh Shai, you're just talking Thoth. Yahweh Shai is Thoth. Muhammad is Thoth. All the religions are in the crux because of Thoth. All this shit is popping off. You got to get back to your code, not killing, not stealing, and not putting no power before the creator of the earth, man. We're talking the ether, the highest order. We got to get in order, get in line. La Hawa, our ancient love song, reigns supreme and needs no hijack beside it whatsoever. When we say Hawa, we say to exist. We acknowledge the existence itself that which exists hawa our frame or our shape or our breath of security you don't have to add nothing to your breath of security you don't have to add nothing to your existence because by the time you say hawa and you add anything to it you're now you know shifting that existence onto whatever you're adding whether it's your how shy allah this that 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 hawa it's a primitive hebrew root verb it's a primitive hebrew Root verb, hijack free. The hijack did not create Hebrew. Did not give you a primitive root verb. You see it spread across the land. Hawa, Hawaii. Josh Hawa. We're, we're already home. We're already here. So when the ball's right out in front, don't overcomplicate the situation. Don't overcomplicate the matter. Right now, we're talking about this tenderoni, and we're looking at it with a dragonfly perspective without complicating the matter. So what's going to happen in May? What's going to happen in June? All right, let's fall back. You know what I mean? And let's see what we can get out of this, man. Let's do this trial. We can we can decode this situation. We can break this down. Let's go. Drop Nation, let's go. What if I told you the word Corona is derived from Latin Greek, meaning crown? Mm. What if I also told you your pineal gland in your head is also known as your crown? Or okay, I'm going to do a lot of 
I'm going to do a lot of pivoting on this one so we can get all this drop. Crown. Corona is crown. He's going to break down all the different, you know, Roni, you know what I'm saying, connections. It's not just about this hijacked chick named St. Corona. You're talking about a language. You're talking about a crown. And what's the representation of the crown before the hijacked St. Corona? She ain't the originator of the corn, the, the crown, the corona. She ain't the originator of it. <laughs> all right, so let's go back to the root of it all. Love to the bro. We're talking a pine cone. Love to natural, man. You know what I'm saying? We're talking dark light consciousness. <laughs> We're talking the matrix, right? The womb. Let's go. So when we talk the crown, when they're trying to hijack the crown, they're trying to hijack the womb. They're trying to hijack the connection. So when they say coronavirus, they're really just saying crown virus. They're, they're literally giving your pineal gland a virus through the frequency, through the silent weapons and the quiet wars. And Yosef the real done told you that. The weapons is forcing this alteration, this mutation, whatever they're doing in the vibration of your pine cone, man. Or Corona Chakra, the seventh and most important energy point within the human anatomy. Your corona, or crown chakra, is located in the pineal region of your head, where your consciousness is projected from. Hmm. Control the corona, pineal, of a being, and you control their consciousness. Then you control the naga. You control the dragon. You slay the dragon. So how do they slay our corona? How do they calcify our pine cone? With the meat, right? With the frequency, yeah, I mean, it's so important to to understand this frequency war, my naga, so you can do everything you can to break free and stop harming yourself. Now, what if I then told you the pineal corona of a person can be suppressed through calcification? Dang. Fluoride found in most vaccines, mm. chemtrails, and ingredients in processed water and foods is known to be the main cause of calcification of a human's pineal corona. Managa, the main cause is fluoride. And they've been pumping fluoride on us since, you know, I was a young, young shoddy. You know what I mean? They were talking about, you know, more fluoride in toothpaste, more fluoride in this. They're pumping the milk, right? Milk does it body good. They're pumping the fluoride. Both things are simultaneously with the fried chicken, right? You put the fried chicken with the milk, with the fluoride, and we are fucked up. <laughs> we are fully put into a magic spell, into, into a deep sleep. Our pine cone is, <laughs> like the bro Yosef say, man, the pine cone is chat, man, because of all this fluoride. Now they're dumping it in the water supply, man. We got the lead issues, of course, but... Don't sleep, man. This is putting you to sleep, man. You see these crossbones? It's kind of like a take on our on our towel, right? Like our cross sticks. This is like a an inverse, you know what I'm saying? Like a duality of our cross, of our cross sticks. Except their mark has a skull on it. So they want to slay the dragon. They're slaying the mark. They're slaying the sign. Let's go. This corona pineal of a person can also be destroyed by high electromagnetic frequencies such as the 60 gigahertz emitted by 5G technology. Fluoridated water and foods, vaccines, chemtrails, and extremely high radio frequency waves like 5G technology uh -oh. are weapons against human consciousness. Silent weapons, quiet wars. You don't you don't perceive the weapon, so you don't pay no mind. Now we're finally becoming conscious to the weapon. And then they turn it back on us in the media. You hear like, you know, Charlemagne talking about 5G niggas. Oh, you 5G niggas. Oh, oh, oh you flat earthers. Oh, you this. It's the same magic, y'all. Don't even fall for it. Don't let them undermine reality because they want to lump it up into a 5G nigga thing. Nah, my nigga, it's frequency. 
energy vibration. And these are silent weapons for quiet wars. And the 5G is also attacking the pine cone. It's the crown virus, corona. They target and destroy the pineal coronal gland of a human. Bang. What if I told you eating meat, carnivorism, also spiritually calcifies the pineal crown? Corona. And love to the battle family because they've been telling us, man. It ain't that hard when you transition to vegan. Da, 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 da. C dot J dot battle. Of a human. Coronavirus is an anagram for carnivorous. Mm. The current coronavirus is said to have started in a carnivore meat market in Wuhan, China. How about this? Did you know there is a Roman Christian saint known as Saint Corona? All right, let's go. She's the patron saint of pandemics and epidemics alongside her counterpart, Saint Victor, a Christian soldier. Both Saint Corona and Saint Victor died violent deaths, both killed by anti-Christian Romans, hence their patron sainthood of pandemic and epidemic death. And remember the pan, it's just like the god pan of Atlantis, same thing, right? So, you know what I mean? And I I get that some of this stuff might be hard to, to really recon because they make it real hard, man. They they come after us. Every link we drop, man, they 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 trying to get that link out of there. You know, people hit me up all the time, digging on drops from 2016, 17, like, hey, man, all these links are gone. Yeah, man, it's a frequency war. You know what I'm saying? We're on, the, we're on that tip of the crystal spear, man. You know what I mean? Shout out, thrown, you know, direct to a target. No hijacks allowed. So I know it's hard to find some of this drop, but you do the recon. Just because it's hard to find don't mean it's fake or it doesn't exist. Nah, man. I mean, you know, you, you're going to have to do the recon to know if they're putting a spell on you. Saint Corona is said to have died at the age of 16, which numerically reduces to the number seven. Mm -mm. One plus six equals seven. The crown chakra. Let's go. Interestingly, both Saint Victor and Saint Corona are said to have been buried in northern Italy, the current epicenter of the coronavirus in Europe. Mm. How about this? Saint Corona is celebrated on the 14th of May, known as Feast Day. Saint Corona's 14th of May Feast Day is said to be the day Saint Corona is invoked in connection to death, money, gambling, and treasure hunting. And again, we're watching this with a dragonfly perspective. And I'm just going to throw something out there. I'm not, you know, it could be something, it could be nothing, you know. But when we talk Italy, because we've done so much recon on, on Spain and Italy and, and just the connection, uh, you know, with the Preston John investigation and, you know, really what was happening with this more and more war. We heard it from different sides, different things. Recon the Noble Drew Ali did a whole series on that. Came back around. And, you know, we give love to everybody, man. We're just trying to, um, you know, sketch out or, 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 or retrace our ancient love song. That's all. You know what I mean? So, yeah, when you deal with Italy, you know, when you deal with Spain, right, you got a heavy more situation popping off. What does this have to do, you know, with these particular plagues? Uh, we researched the uh, the sinus of phallus, right, and different things. They call it this um, from the... Um, with the jewels or the, what they call that other, they had a couple of different names, the y'alls, Y-A-W-S. Uh, go get, <laughs> go back and get that drive. Oh, the, um, man, the U-L starts with a Y. You could do it with a Y or a J, if I remember correctly. And, uh, man, just the way it came out, you know, really pointed us into, a big, you know, it's kind of like a treasure, huh? You know, we got an, another big clue. I'll remember it later, hopefully, man. I know you got the y'alls, and I know you got the sinus of phallus, and there was this Moabite connection with that, and there were different documents that we were pulling up saying, oh, you know, these daughters of Moab, 
you know, had this type of cephalic situation that we're supposed to be very careful of. And that's why the creator was really, you know, um, really strong on, you know, not mixing in for certain reasons. You know, certain reasons was going, uh, falling for their gods. Another reason, you know, was definitely this cephalic situation. Now, these are plagues from Atlantis and these are different tribes that are connecting with the gods and the spirits of Atlantis. Why not? You know what I mean? So, you know, when it comes to um, this northern Italy situation, you know, you wonder how much that connected with the Moab or the, the um, you know, um, Confederacy, Psalms, <laughs> Psalms 83 Confederacy popping off around that area. And what does Corona got to do with that? You know what I'm saying? Is this something, is this something they know more about than, than, than we might in this particular play? You know what I mean? And when you talk about so-called black people getting this Roni, you have to bring it back to the reality. There's no such thing as black. There's no such thing as black. Same thing when we talk about, you know, Italy and different things like that. You're talking about a place that was all so-called black, but these are, it's tribal. You know what I mean? When it came to certain diseases, not all black people had those diseases. Some of those were running or they were more susceptible in certain tribes of so-called blacks. So when they say that black people are getting it today, if it is true that they're getting a virus or some type of, you know, infection or whatever the case is, are certain bloodlines more susceptible to it? They say black people, but is that really a code word for Moab? Is that really a code word for, for Amman? You know what I mean? For for Esau or something, you know what I mean? Because Esau is also so called black. Remember that. So don't fall for the okie doke. Oh, oh, black people are getting it at an alarming rate. Which black people? Which tribes? Which tribes? I mean, that's just taking it a step further to ask that question. But allow why, man? I mean, we're just on the treasure hunt, <laughs> putting together the pieces. This makes me think could the 14th of May be the peak? Of the current coronavirus. Oh, it was Beijing. All right, so <laughs> what was the name of that other syphilis, sinus syphilis? So syphilis is also called Yaws, Y A W H, and it's also called Beijing when you research B E J E L. But without that J, they, they were calling it B E Y E L. So now you have Beijing. And I said, what is, what's the chance that this sinus syphilis, dog headed syphilis disease? From Atlantis, remember, because the king of the king of Atlantis, Alcathis, was being worshipped as a god by the Saint Syphilis, right? That was his name. He was cursed by Apollo or Zeus or Thoth, all the same people. Mercury, all the same people. He was cursed by Thoth, all right, with this Cephalus dog headed situation, and it was named after him. All right. So Saint Syphilis was a real person according to, you know, different you know, um, you know, documents and, you know, different things that you dig on. So, but the Beijel is the sign of syphilis, is syphilis, but it's also called Beijel. I said, this shit is called Beijel, Beijel, but they spelled it B-E-Y-E-L, B-E-Y-E-L, the Bays and the L's, Beijel, Beijel, sign of syphilis. So it was specific to this particular bloodline, this particular curse from the Apollo or Thoth, from Atlantis, based on, uh, you know, the Cephalus wanting to worship his king as a god and not Apollo anymore or Thoth anymore. And this was the curse on their bloodline. So when they talk about black people getting a roni, remember that. Because not all black people had the Baal or the sign of Cephalus. It was for specific tribes. So you got to get out of the illusion and come back into reality. It's tribe or nothing and possible crash of the world economy or introduction of a new currency. Just a thought. Now, what if I told you the current coronavirus is an occult ritual, a magic spell uh -oh. being cast on the world Here we go. by an occult elite who secretly run this realm through control of all governments, large powerful corporations, and mainstream media. What if I told you this corona ritual is a preemptive spell for the coming real coronal solar events during 
our two solar solstices of 2020. June 21 and December 21. Could be something, could be nothing. <laughs> something or nothing. What do y'all think? Leave a comment below. Let me know. Something or nothing. Are these days to look out for? May 14th, June 21st. And then you got the St. Victor situation to end the year off with. December 21. Aren't they doing all this preparedness for something popping off in December? What does it got to do with the comet Atlas? Who's the, the dragon? The Wormwood, the Apollyon, the Abaddon coming in, the Atlas coming in. Who's destruction? Let's go. 2020. These two coming events are the return of the two Christian saints, or Christ in saints, of hmm. epidemics and pandemics. Saint Corona, June the 21st, and Saint Victor, December the 21st, 2020. What if I then told you, astronomically, there is a southern constellation called Corona Australis, the southern crown, mm. and a northern constellation of four stars called Corona Borealis, the northern crown. Furthermore, a corona is the auric plasma gas around celestial bodies like the sun and other stars. This auric energy now, hold up, hold up. I'm going to get this part again because when you think about the, what is the other one, uh, Aurelius Borealis, whatever it is, hold up, man. You know, I'm talking about the Northern Lights. <laughs> you see all these beautiful pictures. I don't know how they spell Borealis. Here. All right, so you got these beautiful pictures, right? And a lot of times we see dragons, like, you know what I mean? Literally. You can look, uh, let's put dragon in there, see what we get. Uh, all right, so some of these are recent. I think this is a more recent one right here. Let it clear up a little bit. Let me get this one here. But you know, if you look at it, man, you see basically his head is like, his tongue situation, you see the mouth, you know what I mean? The neck, you see these wings. So what does he say about <coughs> this uh, cosmic energy is very important. Let's just back it up and listen closely. Don't pay attention to these hijack images, all right? Just think about what he's saying and connect it with this, you know, Borealis Northern Light situation because that's a big mystery too, right? Let's go. Is the auric plasma gas around the southern crown, and a northern constellation of four stars called Corona Borealis, the northern crown. Furthermore, a corona is the auric plasma gas around celestial bodies like the sun and other stars. It's the plasma gas around celestial bodies. Throw the sun away. Forget the sun for a minute. Forget the sun, because that... That loops you back into what you think you know. All right, so we're talking about the auric plasma gas around celestial bodies. It will be considered a celestial body, a star, right? A star. Let me still get by. A star. So a body or a cosmic body will be considered a star. But remember the word star was not in the dictionary in the past. It was just added before you're talking, before you're just talking. This is out the the great Russian language, the, etymo the etymological dictionary of great Russian language. All right, we, we got meteor, right? Thunderous, fiery pillars. The definition of a comet in Dahl's dictionary is a heavenly body. So we're just talking about a body, right? A heavenly body and this auric field around it. So we say, what are these Northern lights? What are these beautiful lights, right? What are these beautiful lights popping off? They just gave you the drop. <laughs> he just gave you the drop. The Corona, the crown, the Corona is the auric plasma gas is what they're calling it around the celestial bodies. 
like the stars, right? Like the sun and other stars. So these stars or these stars, what they tell, have this plasmic field around them. And that's why they look like dragons, because they are dragons, my naga. They have a plasmic field around them. They're giving us all the game. The corona. So when you talk about your pineal gland being attacked, you're talking about your dragon being attacked, your dracon being attacked. The corona is this energy field they call auric plasma gas around celestial bodies. Right here we have <laughs> the definition of a comet all right, is a heavenly body, according to the etymological dictionary, in comparison to others, is of huge mass. Those spirits never is transparent. Sometimes it could be seen to have a nucleus like these comets, right? Like Comet Atlas, right? While the surrounding areas form something like a tail, beard, or tangled locks, my naga. A star with a tail. The term star with a tail is also referred to under the entry star. So when you talk star, you're literally talking star with a tail because the term star with a tail is also referred to under the entry star. We're talking the etymological dictionary of the great Russian language in 1955 by Vladimir Dahl. And this, you know, I'm going to leave this for you again. When you talk shooting stars, these stars, these cometas, these comets, these atlas, right? The term star with a tail is also referred to under the entry star, right? And other stars. Furthermore, corona is the auric plasma gas around celestial bodies like the stars, the stars with a tail, <laughs> star with a tail. So star, the term star with a tail is also referred to under the entry star. So when you talk star, my naga, you're talking star. In this case, you're talking a star. <laughs> with a tail, beard, and tangled dreadlocks, man. And we're just saying, why do these plasma fields look so much like dragon? Star with a tail. Let's go. Let's get a few more minutes. This auric energy emitted by the sun and stars, stars. is known as coronal mass injection of electromagnetic energy or they're popping off like what would they call these or auric plasma dragons when they shoot a fireball they call them solar flares coronal mass injections we're talking coronavirus my naga i'm talking pineal gland pineal gland pine cone dracon i'm talking your crown chakra I'm talking your dracon star with a tail, the star, right? This plasma field, this mass injection of electromagnet magnetism, <laughs> and we're just talking our ancient love song. Now, what if I then told you the coming Corona solar events of June and December, Corona and Victor, mm. will be initiated by a mass injection of electromagnetic auric energy of epidemic proportions. So it's being initiated by a dragon. What is Comet Atlas? That will flood this realm. Effectively changing the electromagnetic frequency and overall Schumann resonance of this realm. Now, what if I then told you human consciousness, the Earth's Schumann resonance, and the electromagnetic frequency of our universe is currently going through a mass coronal shift within many different layers of our individual and collective paradigms here on Earth and beyond. What if I told you this mass coronal shift is being orchestrated from the epicenter of our Earth and universe? The counter spatial etheric den, Eden, the magnetic northern realm beyond the aurora borealis. What if I told you 
Within this northern etheric den, Eden, there is a magnetic mountain and known who's, as... Who's guarding Eden? Who's guarding the Eden, the etheric den, the Dracons? We're talking about the Aura Borealis, right? You're talking about the Dracon Quam, right? So this Eden, just like in the script, is guarded by these angels with flaming swords, right? <laughs> Who got the flame? Let's go. Known as Mount Olympus or Mount Zion, Mount Meru, Rupris Negra, the Black Northern Rock. This magical, or rather magnetic rock, is crowned atop by a central sun known as the Black Sun. Mm, watch this. Planet X, Nibiru, Toth. Who? So all this on one layer are all the same. On another layer, just like with Enoch, there's two Enochs, right? There's a Enoch that we, you know, read about in, in our bloodline. There's another Enoch, I think, through Cain. There's, you know, some other stuff, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, we, we hear things both ways and stuff. We, we hear about this black sun connected with Saturn a lot, but he's connecting his black sun with, with an energy field within the earth that connects the hollow earth theory, different things. But we've just been talking about Comet Atlas, also known as Planet X, also known as Nibiru, also known as Thoth. Why would Comet Atlas be Thoth? Because you're talking Atlantis. Atlas is the singular. Atlantis means many islands of Atlas. <laughs> Atlas is Thoth, is Apollo. The Zeus connection. Whether you're talking son of Zeus, Zeus, whether you're talking son of Saturn, Saturn, all the same frequency. They they ride for their family. It's tribe or nothing for them. But they all work for our creator. Because the only way they get energy to rock and jam us up and create this false reality so we can train up, so we can zon up and crystallize through the friction, through the fire, without our garments being scorched. We need the goons, man. This is the goons that work for our father, for our mother. This is the goons of our Ama Abba's house. No need to fear them. They work for you when you're in order. But yeah, I need you to overstand, understand, understand <laughs> that Thoth is the incoming situation that they're talking about. And it's correlating with this Saint Corona and Victor and all this destruction. Yet, what does it mean for the Ibaru? What does it mean for the ones in the cold? Everybody can't be on the same frequency all of a sudden. We've been on the frequency of destruction. Managa, they've been destroying us. So this ain't our destruction. This is our redemption. They're experiencing their fall, their destruction. Don't let them drag you down in the frequency of fear. Buddha or Christ. Uh-oh, This sense because their Christ is thought. And how many times do we got to say it? That when you're worshiping your Jesus or your Yahweh Shai, you're still calling on thought. That's why you can't leave the creator's name alone. That's why you can't just say Hawa. You got to say Hawa, Hamashiach, Allah, all this other shit, because all that shit is the same shit. And you call on this frequency because you you yearn for it because the creator ain't enough for you all of a sudden. <sighs> no hijacks allowed. We worship our Hawa, our breath of security only because it is us. And this Christ is their thought, not us. The body of Christ and the sacrifice and all the story they're giving you in the New Test is all Sumerian, Egyptian, Atlantean. Hijack City. Central Sun's coronal energy is the driving force of all conscious life within beings here on Earth via our own pineal coronas within our heads, the crown chakra. What if I told you the coming floods of St. Corona and St. Victor, June the 21st, and December the 20th? He keeps saying coming floods. You know, that's very interesting. He's talking about the flood of of energy or water. First 2020 will be a coronation of new coronal mass energy to either reset or 
upgrade all conscious life within this realm. So will you be reset to zero or will you be upgraded? My knock the choice is yours. Are you keeping the code? If you're not hijacked, if you're not, if if you're able just to call on Hawa with no hijacks allowed, you put yourself in a frequency that's ready for an upgrade. If they created this world in 216 hertz, allow Hawa, it's been still on the same scale. You just double it to 432, upgrade. Higher heaven, higher octave, double 432, 864, double 864, 1728, double 1728, 3456, and keep on going. You do it. I'm not a mathematician, but I'm down for an upgrade, aren't you? Don't we say choose up, stay up, not home. Those with over-calcified pineal glands will be reset, mm. death, and those with prepared Decalcified pineal glands will be coronated and crowned with new electromagnetic DNA upgrades. So now you know they're targeting your pineal with the 5G and it might not be much, you know, you feel like you can do about that other than wear a tin foil hat. And uh, of course, your seven has some great options with, uh, you know, detox baths and different things. Definitely check out your seven. The reels, great information on that. But straight up, you know what I mean? What you can do. Better than everything, man, is just make sure your diet is on point, man. Make sure your diet is on point more than ever. I don't care how much you like tacos, hot dogs, or hamburgers. Cut them out right now. It is time to be crowned, my nigga. Will you be coronated? <laughs> or will you be uh, suffered to the, uh, to the reset of just the coronavirus? Or will you be coronated? Will you be crowned? See, everything's in duality in this matrix. You're able to choose up so you can get back to the one road. No more duality. We're talking unity. In order to be unified, we need to be crowned, coordinated. So either we're going to be, uh, you know, victims of the tenderoni or we're going to be crowned, my naga. Crowned, my naga. Put down the meat, put down the crap. Brother Nature told you that. June 21, 2020. Return of Saint Corona, the Christian maiden who died a violent death, but also sacrificed herself in the name of Christ. Hmm, poor thought. This could be likened to mass deaths, the real coronal viral cleanse. Peak of the coronavirus, perhaps? December 21, 2020, however, will be the return of Saint Victor, the Christian soldier who also died a violent death, but also sacrificed himself for Christ's cause. Or thought. This could be likened to war, alien invasion, space force, extraterrestrial beings entering our realm. Whoa, from- hold up. Look at this little, look at this little uh, puppy that he's trying to slide by. So clearly we are on a geocentric, you know what I'm saying, projection here. You know what I mean? Looks very similar to the at- how you say as a muzzle equidest AE protection? You know what I'm talking about. And you see they got their walls and their barriers, man. We're gonna get back on the flat drop. You know, YouTube's been deleting my flat drop, finding 30 seconds of a clip of rocket launches and taking down my videos that are three hours long of the flat drop series we just did. So you already know what time it is, but get the drop. Make sure you download as much as you can, man, for real. Tree of life in the center. They say North Pole, okay. Dome, dome, dome. So they got three layers on their dome. They got a dome on this circle, a dome on this circle, and a dome on the outer rim. Higher, higher, higher. In order to get through the dome, you probably got to get through certain gates, certain gateways, get you through the firmament. You want to get to the celestial? You want to get through the firmament? You got to go straight, Jack. You got to go straight. Beyond the skies of the two auroras, the North, the Borealis, and the South, mm-hmm. Australis. 2021 will be a new beginning oh, wow. after all these things have passed. Let's go. Happy Spring Equinox. Man, it's happy redemption season for the Naga, man. And we're going to go out like this, man. Uh, this great drop that was just dropped in my DM, man. Y'all make sure y'all drop that drop in the DM.
So I got the drop. I can share the drop. You drop the drop. I'm going to share the drop. Love to them. Love to my bro, uh, Nick Lacey. Love to all the family. Bell, Cali, Cali, Cali's girl, <laughs> XX Strong, XV, Hensei, you already know. Sundown Night Spiral, VA123, Deja Vu792, Miss Says, Soul and Fruit, Rockstar, XJ. Uh, love to the bro, Dizzle Fitty as well, man. Good bro. I named Black Girl, okay. Uh, I don't know what Nick be on. Uh, cool Breeze Ninja, Yellow K. Smith, strong fitness and skills, great inspiration, man. Witness and laugh, wisdom and laugh, felt and fitness, great sister. DJ No Ski, you already know, man. Ether Squad, Kendra Monet, 1287, Papa Wakan, Gerald World, man, the list goes on. CJ Battle Cup Bear, <laughs> Malak, Tazik, Flock, all the fanny, man. A hop to you, you know what I mean, for, uh, you know what I mean, overcoming the static, man. We're doing it in real time. My naga, we do it in real time.